Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is commercial refrigeration. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What do water cooling towers require? A. Distilled water. B. A chlorobutyl liner. C. Weekly cleaning. D. Periodic desiling. The correct answer is D. Periodic desiling. Explanation. As water is evaporated from the cooling tower, minerals that are left behind will form scales. After a period of time the scaling will cause poor heat transfer and inefficiency. Desiling is performed with chemicals at least once a year. Number 2. What is the name of a refrigeration system used to cool another refrigeration system? A. Piggyback system. B. Cascade system. C. Twin system. D. Parallel system. The answer is B. Cascade system. Explanation. Cascade systems are an arrangement of two or more refrigeration systems that are used in series to achieve ultra-low temperatures. The evaporator cools the condenser of the other system. Number 3. What is the box temperature normally provided by high-temperature refrigeration applications? A. 28 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 30 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 47 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The answer is C. 47 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Explanation. High temperature refrigeration applications normally are 47 to 60 degrees box temperature. The storage of such things as flowers, candy and some fruit and vegetables must be maintained at these temperatures. Number 4. The suction accumulator helps to prevent flood back from which of the following conditions? A. An undercharge of refrigerant. B. An evaporator fan is not running. C. An evaporator fan set to high. D. TXV bulb clamp too tight to the suction line. The answer is B. An evaporator fan is not running. Explanation. When the fan is not running, some of the refrigerant will not boil away in the evaporator, and liquid will flow out of the evaporator to the compressor. A suction line accumulator is used to prevent liquid refrigerant from entering the compressor. Number 5. When a compressor service valve is in the cracked position, which port is closed? A. Outlet port. B. Inlet port. C. Service port. D. None are closed. The answer is D. None are closed. Explanation. A service valve is a manually controlled valve with three ports. Line port, compressor port and a service port. This valve has three positions. Back seated position for normal operation, front seated position for isolating a component and cracked position when servicing the system. When the service valve is in the cracked position all ports are open. Number 6. What can a low pressure switch be used for? A. Overcharge protection. B. High side cutout. C. Control refrigerant flow rate. D. Control of space temperature. The answer is D. Control of space temperature. Explanation. A low pressure control can be used like a thermostat to control temperature. The switch works off the principle of pressure temperature relationship. By controlling evaporator pressure, temperature can also be controlled. Number 7. What is the name of an electrically operated shut-off valve? A. Solenoid valve. B. Automatic valve. C. Check valve. D. Isolation valve. The answer is A. Solenoid valve. Explanation. Solenoid valves are shut-off valves that are opened or closed by an electromagnetic coil, which controls an armature inside the valve. It is normally used for controlling refrigerant flow in the liquid line. Number 8. Why must an oil separator be kept warm? A. 
to prevent sluggish return of the oil to the crankcase. B. To prevent refrigerant from condensing in the separator during the off cycle. C. To keep the oil at the same temperature as the oil in the crankcase. D. To operate properly when exposed to low outdoor ambient. The answer is B. To prevent refrigerant from condensing in the separator during the off cycle. Explanation. An oil separator is a device installed in the discharge line between the compressor and condenser to help remove oil from the gaseous refrigerant. The oil is returned to the compressor by the use of a float or some other means. If during the off cycle the oil separator is allowed to cool, some gaseous refrigerant may condense and displace the oil and flow back to the compressor, causing damage on startup. Number 9. If a pressure control has been adjusted to cut in at 30 sig in order to have a 10 sig cut out, what must the differential setting of the control be? A. 55 sig. B. 35 sig. C. 25 sig. D. 20 sig. The answer is D. 20 sig. Explanation. The difference between cut-in and cut-out is known as differential setting. In this problem, cut-in is 30 sig and cut-out is 10, therefore 30 minus 10 equals 20 sig. Number 10. What are ester-based oils? A. Aromatic blends. B. Vegetable in origin. C. A synthetic oil. D. Not a popular choice for retrofit. The answer is C. A synthetic oil. Explanation. Ester-based oils are hydroscopic in nature and are used with alternative refrigerants such as 134A to replace mineral oils. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.